but I have been playing a game that came out which I don't want to make this a review Tower of Fantasy this game is everything that I wanted and more came out um, I heard about it on P um, on mobile and as soon as I downloaded on mobile I did the pre-registration then all of a sudden I don't know how but maybe my phone and my computer are connected I try to go online and all of a sudden I see hey uh, Tower of Fantasy on PC I was just like oh downloaded it I literally play it every day mm -hmm. um, a lot of people are calling it a Genshin Impact clone but it is far from Genshin Impact and for the type of um, gamer I am is actually superior mm. like where Genshin Impact I'll say it like this where Genshin Impact is superior at is um, graphic like CGI animation it is um, superior in that but it's also been out longer so it has the budget and everything else and uh, and the waifu slash husbandos that, that's literally the two things that is superior at uh, but where Gen um, but where Genshin Impact lacks that where Tower Fantasy has is that it's combat, it's fun, and superior. Um, they literally gave you a fighting game engine in a action RPG uh, mechanic. There's matchmaking in different things, so you can do like um, certain like little mini raids or whatever else up to four players. Uh, instead of being three characters separately that all have their own fighting style and weapons, mm -hmm. you actually play with one character, you get to have three weapons, but depending on the, the tier of weapon, they have a character skin that you can actually put on yourself that is with that said character and it has their, their own v, um, VA or VO and personality. But the other thing, the one thing that everybody likes in a Souls game, mm -hmm. character creation. Mm -hmm. So that alone, and also it's more in a cyberpunk dystopian style uh, world, where Genshin, which is more mechanical, where Genshin Impact is heavy on oriental stuff, very organic and everything. So those two things make it uh, different. But there's, man, the combat system. Oh my, oh my god oh, especially if you have an up-to-date phone um, but I took it off my phone because it was nine nine point two one gigs on the phone but it's like 20 almost 22 gigs on a PC so that's the reason why I kept it on only on PC but it's it's fun man um it is a grind when it comes down to leveling but it's actually different everything has a level so you level up, mm -hmm. so your your world level is technically your character level. So you don't have to worry about having your character level and an adventure rank and stuff like that. It's just whatever you level up in the world, that's what your level is. But every weapon that you get has a level. Your character has equipment. Your weapons have equipment. Like. It's just like, oh man, so like your power level, um, which is indicated by the word um, CS, has a, or I, I forget what the term CS is, but it's literally your power level um, as you build up everything every time when you level it. There is um, items and everything that you have to do to, you know, uh, elevate everything, and you have like different dungeons and everything you can go into. Um, but one of the biggest flaws that Genshin Impact had was if you want to play multiplayer with other people it actually built a world based off the host so if they want to do oh if something in the story was too hard you know as long as people didn't get spoiled in the story they would help you play it but everybody would have to leave in order for that person to pick up like the items or whatever else on top of that whatever items that who was ever helping you could only get like resource materials you couldn't pick up like certain things or whatever else so it's kind of like very limited in that regards but having an actual matchmaking everybody gets their own rewards it's kind of like but while i do like um i think i forget it's not mihoyo no, no more it's uh hoyo hoyo versa or something like that i can't remember but genshin impact is still a fun game it's still beautiful 
like I'll never discount that. The voice, the voice acting in it as well, because I'm still a big fan of Genshin Impact. Is just being able to play the game. The combat, the combat system is just superior. Man. I can't, I can't say nothing more than that. You can swap between all three, um, all three weapons. Each weapon has its own special, uh, like special ability. There's a dash. You can dash forward, back, side to side, which has um. But you can dash forward and attack, it does its own move. Back and attack has its own move. And I believe the sides have the same attack as the forward. Mm -hmm. And you can do the same thing in the air. You have jump cancel from ground to air. And you have double jump. Like, I think Genshin Impact has air dash, but it's kind of like, there's just... For, for me, Genshin Impact is like has always been like an eight and a half, mm -hmm. while this game is like a 9.3 or four out of 10. Like that is that much better. But, I mean, like I said, I didn't want to do too much of a review on it. The score is not bad. Score is actually good as well. So, but you know, the game has been out only for I think like about two or three weeks now. If that, like, but we'll see what happens to it in the next like, year or so you know what i'm saying because the one thing is, is that it was being called a uh genshin impact clone so much and i hate it when people do that is because that automatically will knock a game down instead of just giving it its respect because when people hear the word clones a lot of people don't want to touch the game and what happens everybody stays on one game while that game is going to get built up while the other game which could have the potential to get better if it had the the people and the resources and it's free to play that that's the biggest thing granted there's things you can pay for but the game is completely free to play everybody knows that there's this event has happened and had just ended recently Game time. God games come. Basically, e E3 was canceled, but we got this thing and four days of. Well, I, honestly, can I even say four days? I want to say one day, <laughs> but four days of a lot of announcements. But the but first a day, a lot, a lot, like GNN Invasion didn't see it, but I'm gonna just. I've seen majority of it. I'm gonna tell you the games that I'm looking forward to. Each I've only you, seen day one. I've only each seen of you guys one. may have your opinions on this, and tell me which ones you want to look forward to. But hear us. But I'm not, here's the thing: I'm not gonna count Sonic Frontiers or Gotham Knights because we already seen. But the, the, the announcements that we seen for Gotham Knights. So you're not counting uh, games that have been announced in previous previously, lore shows. Previous lore so, so I'm Are you counting returning IP or franchises? Are these just completely new games? Or is it Return out like, like is it Sonic, is there like a Mario, you know, so, stuff like that, like... If it's Sonic and Mario, but if it's, if it's already announced before GamesCon, then I'm not gonna, then I'm not gonna count those. Okay, but, okay. Then I'm not gonna count those. But and I'll do my, and I'll do my list for day one, but I want you to, I want to hear But here, here are some of the few games that I've been gonna look forward, look forward to. One of them is this. Basically, Ghost of Tsushima's Girlfriend, where wins me? Oh my goodness! It's basically wait. Did you? It's, it's, it's basically goes to, basically it's like you know you have, the trailer shows him walking on water. No, but like <laughs> no, but if you look at the gameplay mechanics and all the other stuff in the in the vibe of it, you ever you ever get this meme that says, "Oh, there was like it's like can I copy your homework?" He said, "Yeah, but just don't make it too obvious." That's basically where wins me. I'm like, it looks it looks. Really, really good. But like, for, 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 for people who don't know, watch this trailer. It's basically like a, it's a game. It's like a Chinese See, setting. Here's, here's the problem with this. On Steam, you there's so many of these games. True. And the problem is, is that like you just you try to sift through the controls to try to figure out how to do stuff. But this game isn't. I mean, it's probably um probably the most backed or well backed. But because you know. It got announced in in this, but mm -hmm. ah man, it, it, continue though. <laughs> continue because I can't lie. Like when, when I seen it, I was just like, "Oh, a game on Steam made it." <laughs> That's exactly what I thought. Another, but, another game 
Oh, uh, Ghost of Tsushima's sister. <laughs> Lies of Lies of P. Yes, the 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 first Disney sp dark Disney spinoff. Yes, it's uh, so guys for anybody. I'm sure people have heard it already. Literally, it's it's based off of Pinocchio. Mm -hmm. So, which is awesome, and it's Souls like. I am going to play this game so hard, yeah. so hard. That that also surprised the heck out of me. I was just like, "What in the world is this?" I was like, "Okay." I was like, "Okay." Another another game that I'm looking forward to is basically made by the creators of Dead Space, even though it hasn't been out. They announced it, but they haven't showed gameplay of it. Callisto Protocol. I don't know if you've seen it. Is that the one with the whole asteroid and everything that yeah. they showed? I uh, I believe they showed something when I when I was looking at like uh, somebody reviewing it or whatever else. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to watch Gamescom on my own. I didn't want you know cliff notes. So because you know there's there's a lot of games that people will just discredit. They won't go through the full thing. So but I've technically seen uh, the gameplay for it, which I'm impressed. But I don't know if I'm a buy it. Might just watch somebody play it on Twitch. Another game that I'm gonna give it a shout out to. This game is basically what will happen if Metroid and Castlevania have a baby, and it's finally gonna be ex and it's gonna be an exclusive on Microsoft. The Last Case of Benedict Fox. I seen that and I actually was curious. I'm like, but I watched the gameplay. I'm like, holy crap, it's another Metroidvania game. People that don't actually know what that particular term means, if they just want it in simpler, uh, simpler terms, it's a side-scrolling platformer. Yep. A action adventure side scrolling, a side-scrolling platformer with some RPG elements in a way. If it's not like RP it's not gonna be technically RPG like a Final Fantasy, but it might be like Zelda. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. That game, I was like, I was like, oh snap, another Metroidvania series. I'm just like, oh man, I was like, and they won an award, from what I understand. Yeah, it did. And, yeah, they won. So, I'm like, it won an award. I'm just like, oh snap. I was like, okay, I might, I might go look. If they show more, well, if they show gameplay and stuff like that. I'm like, but it comes out next year. But when it shows up. Probably the Game Awards. Most likely, when the Game Awards shows up, a lot of these games that we showcase on Gamescom, they will, maybe a few of them will show up. Okay. So we'll most likely go look forward to that one. Any anything you looking forward to? Uh, well, I mean, as you go through your list, I was just gonna uh, like put ad lib in because um, I know we have some that are the same. Uh, so ones that I seen on the day one. Uh, one being the Lords of the Fallen, that game actually looked really um, interesting to me. Uh, definitely felt a little Souls-like as well, but I want to see exactly what the gameplay looks like. But from that little CGI trailer, mm -hmm. I'm definitely all for it. Um, funny enough, there was a game that came out on PS4, possibly 360, or not 360, um, Xbox One or whatever else called Lords of the Fallen, which was a Demon Souls-like game. So it's kind of funny how they added the, and they made a completely yeah. different game. But, um, and then the other one, Atlas Fallen. That one, or is it Atlas Falls? I thought it was Atlas Fallen or something like that. I think, but, yeah, I think it's one of those. I got, I but got, uh, that game looked good. The, but here's the thing, I'm looking at CGI trailers. Mm -hmm. Like, you, you, you got you these monsters that's coming through, they're talking about magic is almost gone, but everybody has almost like this Prince of Persia type of sign, sands of time, magic or whatever else, and you're creating weapons out of nowhere, there's Ooh. elements. Like, I seen sand, I seen fire, I seen lightning. Like, okay? Um, and then another one, I'll do this one so you can get back to yours. Another one that I seen was a uh, Hokai Star Rail, which I don't know if it's part of Hokai Impact series, mm -hmm. but it is made by the people that made Genshin Impact, and it looks really good as well. So, but I'll continue the rest of mine as as you go. Have you, have you seen a game called Moonbreaker? 
That wasn't a part of day one, so I don't think so. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot you didn't watch day one. I don't, so, I don't so, so I can't, so I can't really say what this game looks so no, like. No, say it. I'll look at it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to go through and see if somebody has a day two that I can just mm -hmm. go through that isn't a bunch of them talking around about it. So, Do you, you obviously know the game Warhammer forty thousand. Of course. It's basically picture like they say it's Warhammer four thousand, but like let's say it's like your either like their little brother or their cousin. Okay. It's basically let's say the matter of fact, I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show you the reveal trailer, and ladies and gentlemen, you can watch actually watch this reveal trailer yourself. It's just so much to explain on this because of like I'm not into I'm not into Warframe. I mean Warhammer, but this. Oh, I did see that. That wasn't a trailer. Yup. Oh, so that the name of it was Moon something? Moonbreaker. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Because they um they I'm I'm tripping. Sorry about that guys. I did see that. Um it was in day one. I think the biggest thing that got me curious, and I guess is the art side of me, was the pain. It what? was the pain. Yeah. But it was definitely interesting. I'm not really interested in the card or chess style of games, but you know we'll see. But um. But anyway. Yeah. As I continue on, we, we said Moonbreaker. I'm gonna add another one. But it's, I didn't have that in the top ten though. No, but it's like some of the best moments though. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. This isn't a game. You but, but no. No, this don't, isn't a game. Don't, don't you dare. Well, I want to see what he is up to. He's up to something. Hideo Kojima is starting a podcast. I want to know what he's up to. There's like he's starting up, but whenever he does something, you already know something big is something's going down. Not necessarily. Yeah, yeah, you, you know the reason why? Why? Because there's another person that made that made a YouTube channel that's focusing on helping to build the future of game creators. That is a ex Nintendo employee that made a very popular amount of series, one called Smash. Sakura, yeah, Sakura. So... No, but like when he, but Sakura, I don't think he made a podcast yet. No, it's, he's not making a podcast. He's He made a YouTube channel that's literally separate. Uh, like I found out, he hasn't worked for Nintendo for a very long time. He was contracted as an advisor with all these other games for years now. So... But he's now making his own YouTube channel that he already said is not connected to Nintendo in whatever way, shape, or form. He's going to do it in three to five minute segments, literally showing you how to do game development. In the whole as so pretty much anybody now, at once his series is completed, can become a game developer. I have Unreal Engine and another one on my computer right now. So if I wanted to just start messing with it, go into a YouTube video and see what they started looking at, I can actually do that. Granted, I don't know how resource heavy they are, but I might need a beefier computer, but I mean, I do streaming and gaming, so I would hope that's enough. But it is just one of those things of, anybody can get into game development now, but to literally have the, um, you know, the guy of uh, Sakurai now underneath that, like, that's big. So, with Hideo Kojima having a podcast, we gotta see what I, I I'm curious on what he, what's his topic gonna be. If he's also gonna as say, long as he ain't bashing Konami, he's safe. Yes, but then but then again, everybody knows Konami screwed him over. Doesn't mean he doesn't hold no animosity. I mean, we're human. Yeah. So, but I'm 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 looking at it as the glass half full. I'm looking at it as yeah. I mean, it's a podcast, man. Anything technically goes. Anything goes. So he but did. and he has legitimate rights to has um, gripes and complaints because a franchise that he could have made that could still be big till this day because it's still popular and loved. It could still be continuing. Hell, I wouldn't be surprised if the person that created uh, Mega Man isn't part of his podcast. <laughs> <laughs> but that would be that would be that would be amazing if they. If they he, and he just somehow pops up, we're like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. And they say, they, and they say, oh, we're gonna make a game together. They're like, what the hell? Oh, that would be awesome. Two totally different styles, so I'm very curious on how that game would come out. What the hell? 
That one, and, but I honestly don't even want, want no more Mega Man clones. Like, I'll play a Mega Man game, I'll tolerate it, but I, I, well, actually, I'll play X. I like X. But I don't want no more Mega Man clones. So if they did, <laughs> it would have to be in the like guise of Hideo Kojima. Yeah, I can't. I can't do a Mega Man clone anymore. I played way too many. You ever played the one called Gun Vault? I've seen it, but I didn't. And then they got um, they got a female one that's like Gun Vault. Then they got a female one that's like Rock Man. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I'm like, ah. Oh, There's a lot. There's a lot, man. The, the last thing I'm gonna mention, I'm like, I didn't see gameplay of this game, but everybody's going crazy for this one. You ever seen this? The game called Doom. Not the, not, oh, the, not the movie. No, no, it, it's called Dune Awakening or mm -hmm. Reawaken or something like yeah, that. Yeah, Dune Awakening, basically, they say it's a survival MMO. I'm and like, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be free. Yeah, and I'm like, I was like, it looks great, but I'm just like, as much as I want to add it to it, I'm like, I didn't see no gameplay of it, but I'm like, it yeah. looks good. So, so, it's just like, so here's the thing, right? Thing. Based off of that clip that it showed um you know it's gonna be well it could be one of two but i would hope they go to to me the smart route and make it third person behind the back like most mm -hmm. but in other but when you mention mmos uh is it going to be top down like diablo style which isn't bad isn't you know bad. world of warcraft style. It's not bad but um or is it going to be first person, which I won't ever play the game if that was the case. I don't, I don't, um, I don't think it's going to be first person. But, I mean, as an MMO, technically that's going to Elder Scrolls route, which can work, technically. Uh, you already know either a world boss or one of the big bosses is going to be the Sandworm. That's literally why they showed it. Um, but... So, but yeah, we customizable do. weapons... But there is no real technology. You didn't see jetpacks. It's people that were flying in like starships, and uh, and I guess not pod racers. But remember that thing that looked like a dragonfly in the movie. You don't remember when it was going to go um, like save the people off that uh, off the thing that was gathering the spices before oh, the worm got it. Oh. You know, not spoilers. The movie's been out long enough. Um, yeah, <laughs> but it won, it won awards to one that I kind of disagreed on. But we'll get that in another day. Oh, okay, okay. Um, but yeah, I third person behind the back character customized character creation has to be a must in that game. Hope it, and it needs to be ex extensive. It needs to be extensive. Um, give me more than just. You know what? I'm gonna say that for another time. That might be a little too controversial. All I know is, is there's not enough um, melanin in some of the skin <laughs> skin color, even though everybody's a sandy color in that. Um, Let's just hope by December we get more. If do if doing it, it's a world, it's a world premiere. They show gameplay. We we will see more of it. For them to only show a CGI, I'm thinking this game is still in development. development so if we're lucky end of the end of the year most likely next year summer yeah that, that's how I feel. like anytime it's only cgi i'm not thinking of gameplay anytime soon like atlas fallen not thinking about cgi anytime so i mean uh gameplay anytime soon the lords of the fallen no time soon in fact those two games i just mentioned i'm thinking maybe a year to a year and a half before we see anything else you know they might pull a Mass Effect 4 to show a trailer and then... Yeah, I don't know where it'd be like, wait, y'all further down the line? And then yeah. after that, they just say, we're just gonna... So it's probably gonna take years down the road. Yeah. So, uh, I have other games uh, from day one that I mentioned, but um, did you have any others? I have other, I said, I just wanna hear what you had. I said, but that's basically one of my biggest ones, but, but some of them were mixed with day two and day three, and you only have day one. Okay. But, um, so one that they only showed a clip it of, um, but it did say it was going to be an RPG, a new one coming out, is called uh, Ryro Song. Um, I am curious on that just because of how they showed it. You know, it showed like a daytime with a different character and a silhouette, but then at nighttime it showed like this weird moon 
guy with, or a person with horns and you just see this, that was just like, that looked pretty good. Uh, Metal Hellsinger, it was actually announced um, in the same thing with the last case of the Benedict Fox. Uh, it was first person, but it looked like it had a whole lot of like action or stuff that you could do with it. Um, high on life. I mean, it, it looked interesting enough, so, um, so no repeats, right? Or ones from previous? Yeah. Like okay, so, uh, like you said, Sekiro, uh, Ghost of Tsushima Sisters, so I do have Where the Winds Meet, but like I said, a Steam game that went popular. Mm -hmm. Um, but I have Blacktail, Phantom Hellcat, and, I mean, because of the amount of time that has been, Dead Island 2. So, I mean, granted, it is a, a reoccurring, but it's been a while. <laughs> so. I, ha I even had that game on the list, and I forgot to mention it. Oh, you did? Dead Island 2, I forgot about that. Yeah, it looked interesting to me, but um, Blacktail definitely looked interesting from the trailer. And it actually showed gameplay, so that game might not be far off. Mm -hmm. uh, but Phantom Hellcat. It just looked interesting. Like, a, a lot of these games, guys, uh, like, I don't know, maybe there was about 25 games showcased, maybe a little bit more or less in lot. day one, but, the like, it was 15 games that I've seen that all kind of intrigued me. Granted, that doesn't mean that I'm going to play every one, one of them because of one main reason. And I've talked about this in the past, but it actually re... Um, resurfaced in my brain when it actually happened. Stray. Stray it and you know what? Let's let's just talk about this for a second because we're not gonna talk about the other thing. So just to mention uh mention guys, we were gonna cover um She Hulk, uh but I am caught up, he's never seen it, so we're gonna cover it just like he did with me with Attack on Titan and some other stuff. When he watches the full thing, and you're just gonna wait till it's completely wait, when it's co yeah. completely out. We're gonna do a review when it's completely done. Yeah, and then we're gonna basically say how is the series overall. Yeah, because I have my impressions on it, which is actually uh, positive. But I want I want y'all to get both of our takes at the same time. So, but instead, this is one thing that I talk about all the time. And it does vary depending on genre. I will say that now. And we're still talking about video games. The size and quality of a game versus the price point. Because Stray has been getting, while they say it's beautiful, people are saying they're beating this game in five hours in less. Okay. So. To have some a game that the trailers made it seem amazing, but you're saying that the game can get beaten five hours or less, like that means that if people want to speed run the game, you're talking about maybe in two hours. If that, I mean, technically, the people that are good at speed running probably beat that game in thirty minutes, they're, they're, if that's possible. Well, it's possible because like they, one dude, one dude did Metroid Dread a hundred percent. Get every single item under that in like two and a half hours. One hundred percent. Oh, okay. And, two, and with, without getting killed either, two and a half hours. I'm just like, oh, oh yeah. wow. He he pro pro level. Yeah, I was like, okay. Oh, yeah. yeah, but but that's where but that's where I'm kind of like um kind of like upset at it. Like even if the game was built now, granted, when I say pro, um price per size, right? Like a nor I'll take um fighting games for instance, because that's the ones I, I know more. Uh Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, which is a 3D tag fighter. Traditional but 3D um style, like 3D sprite tag fighter, in the beginning was no more than like 2.2 gigs. If I look at the updates or whatever now, I don't think it even broke three gigs. But if you go from like um, anime fighters all the way up to like Marvel and something in between, most games don't break over, let's just be generous and say 10 gigs. The games that end up breaking the mold in terms of size wise 
is like Injustice and maybe Mortal Kombat because they, which are both NRS games, but that's because they focus heavily on story. Like Injustice 2 is like 40 something gigs. So now you're going in the realm of like supposed to be high quality or high graphic fidelity action adventure games and stuff like that. Maybe some RPGs and stuff. But but again, that was because of the story element. If they would have just used a generic story like how Capcom Street Fighter and how Marvel vs. Capcom have done things or whatever else where it's like scenes or whatever else, then that game would probably be no more than maybe 15 gigs, uh, depending. But you pay $60 for five hours of gameplay and that kind of makes me think about the new school Tomb Raider so if you remember like the first two the first iteration of the new Tomb Raider the game I can't remember it was like it was sixty dollars but it was like a was it like 40 gigs or something like that but, but then when you actually start looking at the other ones sixty dollar price point 20 gigs. I think one was like 15. It's kind of like, wait, is this a new game or an expansion? But you're paying like this high price for it. Granted, the gameplay can be flush and thorough, but it's one of those things of, look at games like Elden Ring. $60, bang for your buck. Can't, can't, when it comes down to the amount of options you get in the game, for the price point, you get everything you want and more, and the game was getting updated with patches and everything else. And I, I don't know how many hours I've put into that game. I think it's over 300. But for $60, I got over 300 hours, and I still ain't beat the game because I'm trying to do like every little thing. Some things I can't do, but I'm you trying to do every little you thing. You beat the story. Just the main story, just like in like five, like six, six, seven hours. But but it's the options that's around it, mm -hmm. and the, and it still ties in with the story. Mm -hmm. If you just want the straight, yeah, we're just gonna read the first page and then we're gonna read the last page. I got the book. Yeah, that's that's what you're gonna do. But if you're trying to read everything in between, uh oh, that game is I won't say it's infinite, but it's large. But I'm satisfied. 300 hour? That's that is an RPG. That is Star Ocean second story. But now again, I'm not knocking the people that made Stray because it has nothing to do with Stray, but for a game to be a $60 price point to get all of this hype and people are beating it in 5 hours or less, why is this game 50 $60? You know what I'm saying? Like, granted, games take a lot of money and everything else, depending on the, you know, the software and everything that you use. But when does it stop feeling like an exploit? You know what I'm saying? For instance, one of the biggest ones, and I know it has a stance. I know it has a stance. Cyberpunk. Cyber. Well, I can't lie. I'm a stand for Destiny. So. But I, that's the reason why I'm gonna speak on it, right? Mm -hmm. Destiny One came out with bugs, but it's a live service game. I don't know if Cyberpunk is a live service game, but Cyberpunk came out sixty dollars, bugs and glitches to all hell, and the all the fans and the people that like the game literally were just like, no worries. They normally patch it; it gets better and everything else. But if I'm paying my money, I'm paying for a complete game. I'm not paying for something with bugs. When you buy a new car, you don't buy a you don't buy a new car, but get used, pre-owned, you know, quality. You know what I'm saying? Like you're expecting it to for everything to work. So that's why I'm kind of like, you know, when when is there going to be like a like a threshold? But again. I have to base it off of different genres because different genres are going to house different sizes of a game, right? Mm -hmm. So where a fighting game, let's just say a fighting game goes from 3 gigs to, or 2 gigs um, if you're god tier like Power Rangers to, to 50 gigs. 
for a fighting game. I'm expecting options and a certain graphical quality within said game. And but if we're talking about RPGs, action adventure, uh, the Metroidvanias, the Diablo style games and everything else, all of these games are going to be way more expansive and larger. The Horizon Zero Dawns of the world and everything else, like... Xenoblades of the world. Exactly. Like, then, you know, depending on the size of it, should only be housed at a certain price. And then with the size of the game should be housed in certain options. Like, if you give me a fighting game and you say, there's training mode, story mode, and online. That, that's, that's it? Like, I'm expecting this game to be $20. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if you tell me there's train mode, there's story mode, there's arcade mode, there's a survival mode, there's a time attack, there's online, and online has options, there's casual and ranked, you can also do lobby system, we have in-game credits and points that you can buy cosmetics for your character. If you tell me you adding all that, okay, I'm expecting that game to now jump up to like, you know, 50, 60, you know, dollars easy. You know, does your, does your game start off with a eight man or 10 man roster? Or does it start off with a 20 uh, man roster? Do both of them have DLC? Like all of that matters when it comes down to to price point and roadmap and everything else. You give me a Devil May Cry game. And, you know, when I think Devil May Cry, I'm automatically thinking we're getting Capcom's best. So I'm thinking $60, I'm getting me great story, great combat, and of course, one of the best things about Devil May Cry as it's developed personalities. And then there's possible DLC, but What's the one other thing that DLCs actually have? Modes. Yep. Sort of replayability. Yep. But, you know, I, guys, y'all know I go on my tirades, but that might be something that, you know, hopefully that's something that piques somebody's interest that other people have seen or thought about. Let me know in the comments so we can actually have a discussion about it. Um, or we can always have the discussion. 